Hey everybody, welcome back to Captain of Industry. Hope you're having a sweet day today. In continuing with our attention to water, we are now going to upgrade our water treatment plant, or at least our, one of our wastewater treatment plants. Now, this is going to do a couple of things for us. The ratio on how much water we get back for wastewater is better here. It's the same 160, but we're also going to be able to use filter media instead and this is going to allow us to get 120 back. We're going to get more sludge with this though. So we're going to need more of these anaerobic digesters. It is very possible that by the end of this video, or maybe even the middle, that this bridge goes away. And I think that's going to be kind of okay. Cars can still travel through here to get over here if they need to. They just won't be able to cut through this, which is admittedly a more direct route, but I might need more room for more of these anaerobic digesters. We're also going to be taking to rerouting this fuel gas a little bit better in that we are going to route it in such a way that we can create additional diesel fuel out of it. Because you might notice, if I look over here, diesel fuel is not 100%, right? Not doing as good as, we, as good as it could. I've added this. This is another cracking unit that will take fuel gas and add oxygen to give us diesel couple of problems with this though I still need the fuel gas to run this boiler so I've installed a balancer here and told it to prioritize giving it to this and only the extra fuel gas is going into here we're gonna want to give it more fuel gas so that there's more extra so that we can make more fuel so we're gonna focus on this area a little bit today in getting that set up and then we're going to talk a little bit more about maintenance, electronics, and all that stuff. And uh, I'll probably do some other things. I'm not sure yet. I do want to make a note, though, uh, to let you know. I've added one more of these assemblers. So we're creating an additional 24 mechanical parts now. We've started research again to get mega vehicles, and we're going to proceed forward with research some more. Um, and as such, we're going to be now consuming mechanical parts as well as electronics for the purposes of making lab equipment one. Electronics is also something that we need to start uh, making more of because we're going to need to create electronics two out of the PCBs. And the PCB is now going into this storage, which you can see is full now. So it's not a whole lot for these things to do anymore. We've created as many as we can, and um, we're going to start also creating electronics two. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming. It just takes some time to get there. So, uh, yeah, bear with me as we try to do this as structured as possible. But um, I have gone ahead and added an extra one of these assemblers over here to create 24 additional electronics. I've done that by basically getting the rubber that was here already and just sort of adding on to it, going underneath the wood belt to bring it to here. And then the copper is then being brought here. It does overlap with the bridge a bit, but it doesn't impede traffic at all. So we're just gonna leave it there. If I can find a way to do that here to where I can leave the bridge and not impede traffic, but still have the anaerobic digesters, that'd be great. Um, I know I could do one here, but I'm considering doing it like this instead because it gives me more room. And that to do that, I'd have to get rid of the bridge or I can do it alongside here. Uh, one option would be to go like this. So right up against this belt on this side here and this side here, and then do a level two belt to bring the fuel gas into this balancer. So I've got some options, but I don't like any of them. Basically. Um, we'll see what we can do. I can get the compost that's coming through here. I guess it's called sludge. I can get that sludge to come down and go underneath the bridge and route the sludge this direction. So I, I am able to get the sludge from this side over on this side of the bridge without impeding traffic at all too. So there's a lot of stuff to look at. I've also gone ahead and committed to having more copper because we're gonna use it and I wanna ramp up stuff like that. So here we are, copper setup is done. I don't anticipate making any more uh, copper plates on this side of the island for the, rem uh, for the remainder of the playthrough. So this is all the copper we'll ever need. At least that's the that's the what I suspect anyway from now. Okay, let's get going on that filter media. So if we upgrade and start using filter media instead, we don't actually need to upgrade the facility. We just change the recipe. So we're gonna need to consume twice as much chlorine, which we can handle because we're already producing 24 chlorine. 
here. And we're up, up until now anyway, we've only been using 16 of it. So what we'll do is we'll upgrade one of these so that it can handle, uh, it's gonna use 16. And this will give us a better ratio. I would like to upgrade both and I probably still can just upgrade the recipe for both. They just won't all fire at the same time. You have to remember that wastewater is a required uh, resource for this conversion. And so this is more efficient throughout the whole, across the whole board. So we're gonna directly replace filter media with, uh, for, sorry, we're gonna replace sand with filter media on this entire process. But, um, you know, they're both gonna be using that, that upgraded resource. They're just not gonna be firing all the time because we're not producing enough wastewater for that to be met, to, to matter. All right, hopefully stuttering aside, <sighs> that made sense. So what I'm gonna do for this, we need to kind of do a smooth transition with this. And, um, I think to do that, I probably want to have the filter media coming from this side and just be fed here and then just get rid of this little track here. And then I need the sand to come from somewhere else. So I'm going to have to kind of figure out how I want that to be. Like, how is the sand coming in? One way to do this, one alternative way to do this is to create the filter media here. Then have an input belt here and an output that goes into the balancer and then it just gets distributed here. We could then eliminate this entire belt and this will just be storage for sand and there's really nowhere to, for it to go, which is what I'm trying to avoid also. Let's look at the formula for this, right? So this is the only change, filter media instead of sand. And we're gonna need filter media too to, tox to handle toxic slurry, um, but that's later once we start getting uh, nuclear power going. So we'll be processing that too to get some extra water and that'll be that'll be nice so we're gonna want to make the filter media i think probably over here instead because it gives us closer to nuclear um so the process for that is gravel sand and coal it's basically just a filtering mechanism filter media is what it is so wherever sand coal and gravel are well gravel has to be made from rock and we're mining a whole lot of rock here's more rock so i think what we're gonna do is i'm gonna get loose storage and we're gonna have, I think I'm gonna maybe just do it right here. I could also fill another bucket of sand. Coal is coming through here. If I make the filter media over here though, then I have to cart it all the way over to the water. So I do want it to be somewhat closer to the water. So let's say we make this uh, right here. We say that this is our rock and uh, the, the trucks and stuff will bring the rock over to here, okay? So oh, this is rock and trucks will go ahead and do that. We'll say we want this to be, you know, fill it up. Okay. So the next thing now is we need one of the crushers. Uh, we've worked with those before, although that doesn't mean I remember which menu it's in. Here it is. We're gonna take the rock, crush it into gravel. So crusher and crush it into gravel. I guess we'll go ahead and maybe do that on this side like this. Now the mixer is going to create filter media. We only need 24 gravel, so we only need one mixer to do this. So I'm only gonna have one mixer, therefore I only need one crusher. But I think what I'll do is I'll put this kind of like maybe right here. I think this is an okay spot. So what we're gonna do for this, it's fairly simple. We're gonna take u-shaped conveyor then this gravel i'll have to lift it up and go over top of the coal belt but then we'll drop it right down and put it in there the rock will come up to level two because that's where this has to be and we'll then connect it like that so the rock gets lifted up here gets crushed and made, made into gravel and then the gravel goes directly to here and then this creates filter media Okay, now you can imagine where the source for the rest of this stuff is coming from. Sand comes from here, coal comes from here. Very simple. The filter media is all that's left. And that is something that goes on U-shaped conveyors. Okay, so trick now is to get this stuff from the U-shaped conveyor from this and to get it over into this area. 
pretty far away, as you can tell. But, I mean, we were going to need a conveyor either way. Uh, we could have maybe had the sand come from here, and then we had to figure out where the coal is going to come from. You know? Well, the coal is over here, but then I had to, like, pick it up and move it around and bring it over to here anyway. So that's still a long belt. Um, and then you had the rock, which could have been maybe brought into here and crushed. And it, it's it's all the same, right? In the end, it's all going to be mostly the same. So um, one solution, I suppose, since making a conveyor belt is expensive with resources as well as with power constantly, we could have this done by truck. And it's also a decent idea to have it done by truck because we're going to be using the filter media for other things too, not just this. So that's something to keep in mind too, I guess. So one thing I could do is just say, hey, how about you store the filter media in a truck right here? Or you store the media for trucks and we slap it up against this, let's say. We could put it right along, right, right along this, it's fine. The trucks can come over here and take it and bring it where it needs to go. So I think that's probably, that might be what I do uh, as well. If we make more than we're using, which is highly likely given that the formula for this will be creating 36 of it and at most with these two we're only going to be using 16 of it so we're going to need a place to store the extra anyway and then that extra can then be carted off and used uh with nuclear and stuff for the toxic slur slurry and everything so i think we'll end up doing both is where i'm getting at with this the problem with this though is that all of this stuff is very like, it's already determined, right? Everything is already stacked. But I think I can get underneath this at ground level and then lift this up to level three and take it all the way over here, right? And that's, I think, where we're going to go with this. So we'll have this belt work its way over and eventually end up down over here where it can connect with this. Yeah, like kind of like right there. Uh, yeah, can we? Oh, be nice. There we go. And then straight down like that. That'll feed the filter media in here where it needs to go. So it looks to me like I can just basically go at level one through here. Uh, we're going to put this into a balancer, though. So U-shaped balancer from here. You will feed it that way. You will never need to be level two. So don't, we're not gonna feed it level like that. Uh, we'll take this one and go around and stick it there. And then you are gonna go up to level one. And then you're gonna find a way to get to this point. But at this point you're blocked by that. So then you'll come down underneath it. Okay. So all these resources are ready to rock. We have gravel being crushed. We're getting that gravel, starting to make that filter media. There it is. This is going to help our water problems a little bit because it's going to add more water to the system, which is always a good thing. Ooh, we do like adding water to the system very much so. So what we'll do now is we'll activate this recipe and we'll say that this is the priority recipe. Okay. Now, the interesting thing about this is that we can leave both recipes running um, I do want this one to be the primary, primary, but we can leave both recipes running. And so if we ever run out of filter media, these things will just revert to using sand. And that's just the way it'll be, and that'll be nice. So we'll flip this over like that. There we go. And then we're going to have this to that this is the priority in. We have priority outs already. This is the priority in, which means any filter media that comes down this belt is then going to get kicked into this stuff instead of the sand as a direct replacement. It will then also consume more chlorine when it does that, and that's okay. So let's make sure that we have this as it's supposed to be. There it is, and there it is, okay. You will produce more sludge. In the event that you produce more sludge, this stuff just gets backed up. We don't want that to be backed up. Not good to be backed up. And it looks to me like I kind of miscalculated this. This is the compost, and this is the sludge. So getting the sludge over there is actually more challenging than I thought it was. We can change that by going like this. Pair this down from here. 
We'll just move compost to the shipyard. That's fine. Then what we'll do is we'll have you lift up and cross this. I want you to get level one, please. No? Oh, you can't fit through here? Wait. Why can't you go level one through here? Cannot join to a ramp. I'm confused. Yeah, there it is. Weird. All right. Um, I just want you to be, yeah, like this. I guess we'll do it like this because it'll make it look a little bit cleaner if I have it come this side. Yeah, so it'll it'll kind of come in right about like. Come on, come on. Yeah, I guess this is good enough. So that's where that will go to. Uh, no, I need you to go one more over. Yeah, because you're in the way of the other belt now. I need you to go over a little bit more. Or maybe we just cut earlier. I guess that could work too. Let's see what happens if we cut earlier. Pull you back. I'll just cut earlier like that. And then I want to, from here, I got to get out of the way of that other belt. So I kind of want to be here. And then from here, I want to come down. Yep, like that. So we'll have the other units and stuff. This can go underneath, right? So you being up high still at level one. Yep, there we go. You're going to, yeah, you had to go around it. So there is a little bit of ring around the belts here, but whatever. It works for me. It's the kind of spaghetti that everyone can love. <laughs> it's just that wonderful kind of belt spaghetti that everybody loves to see, don't you? Don't you love to see it? You love to see it. Admit it. You love to see it. All right. I need to get the fuel gas. It's coming from this tank. I need to get it routed somewhere else. Over here. I need to get it over here. So one thing I could do is pop off this tank or pop up this pipe and just send this resource half that way. That would alleviate some of the pressure there. Um, again, the problem though is going to be just kind of figuring out how to attach to that. Um, this is our naphtha line. And so the bottom one here is the fuel gas line. And the fuel gas line is harder to connect to because it's on the bottom. But I think if we are really tight, I haven't looked at this yet. So I'm still sort of like trying to analyze my pathing in this. I think I'm going to move this, right? Just rearrange the whole thing to where the fuel gas goes this direction instead. And I think we can get it underneath this. And then it can route cleanly through here. Because this is, this is two levels up. So here's what I'm thinking. It routes as the second level. If I can get it to do it. And I get you to be, I know you're really adamant about connecting to things, but how about you not? Thank you. Uh, so we can, if we can get this right to just kind of stay yeah, like this. And then basically I want to bring it over so that it connects to this pipe. Um, I'm not sure that's the best way to do it because it might interfere with the output from these, but these pipes have high capacity that we are not using. So if I can connect it right there, I think that's probably okay. So we'll plan on the fuel gas being routed again over to here. And then it can pop in and connect to this pipe here, which is, this is admittedly not planned. This is something that is, um, like I didn't design it to do this, to like have the fuel gas go this way. Um, but I think I like it better because right now it's just sitting here until a truck takes it away and moves it to one of two destinations. One of them being this tank. I would rather it just get fed through the pipes to get to this tank and then get offloaded to here so we can make that additional uh, diesel. So I think that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to remove this pipe entirely. Yep. And then um, we will redirect this one to go that way. This one can now go that way. And then I think I'll have to redo this one because it's not, yeah, it's not uh, as clean as it could be. Although it might not be such a bad deal to just go down from here. We have to go under this anyway. So that actually could work just the way it is. It could work the way it is. Let's just run it the way it is. And it looks like I can get over here a lot easier than I can do that the other way. So this this actually looks a little bit more organized. We just kind of do it like this. So this brings all this fuel gas that direction instead. And for very little cost too. So five, 10, 15, 20, we're gonna be making about 30. This is also going to open up the room I need to add two more of these, which would be really great. So this is now using filter media instead of sand. See, filter media has started to come in instead of sand. That's great. Great, great news. And so now we're going to get even more water. Now, here's the thing about the water, though, right? It is now 120 and 120 instead of being 80 and 80 which means a blue pipe is potentially insufficient. But because we're not producing enough wastewater to have this really matter, um, I don't believe we are anyway. This is, takes 160, so that's uh, 320 wastewater per, per month. And this can handle five, uh, 252 is what we're producing. So we're not producing enough to fully saturate these yet. So because of that, there's a little bit of downtime and that little bit of downtime can be made up and um, like we kind of don't need the red pipe. That being said though, if there ever is a time where we are creating more wastewater, I don't want to be slowed down by it. So I've already upgraded this to be red all the way down and into this tank. So we have a red pipe already that can handle 450 units, way more than we'll ever need, I think. Uh, so yeah, these are running on a new formula now. They're going to create more sludge. And so that hopefully that sludge can be routed through here. So with that out of the way, go ahead and just kill all of these things. We don't need them anymore. Reducing pollution. Little bits at a time. I like it. And then we'll just tell them to empty this. So go empty this. Get it out of here. We don't need the fuel gas here anymore. We're going to need more of these. So I think... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and that filter media needs to be, if I do it on this side, it does give room for everything, but then I also have to route the fuel gas back over where it needs to go. So ideally I'd like to be here and here with this. That's where I'd like to be. If I have to be here and here, then the fuel gas is simply going to have to Hmm. There is. Yeah, I kind of need that tank out of the way. I mean, if I went, this is a little tight, you know. The spacing is not ideal for what I wanted to do. Uh, alternatively, because I'm generating so much glass, I could get rid of this, like second half of this. Just dump this and dump this, and do the extra sludge right here. That would take care of it too. And then I just basically get rid of this and go tier two over top of it. Um, or I could stay tier one and go over top of it. Like I, I don't need the second salt, you know, because I really don't need to create extra glass mix. We have so much for recycling coming in here that we rarely, like if I, if I was to watch this for a long period of time, I bet I would see 80% of what this is using is recycling. And this is without the level three edict active because I don't have enough unity to do it, but I would love to activate this. We increase our, our recycling efficiency by another 10%. I mean, that's just, that's just great, you know? But I'm really short on the unity to do it. And I want to leave myself open for the possibility of doing water saver or fuel saver. Um, I know that I'm really low on fuel at the moment. So fuel saver is probably what I'm going to end up doing. This being low on fuel, 
means that the other side isn't doing it very well either. And you'll notice that the oil is gone again. Even though this is coming in, it's full and it's gonna start getting sucked out, I think. Yep, there it is. Had it paused. Um, if we take a look at this side over here though, this is completely full. And so the the even these crude oil tanks have extra in it, right? And so when this boat comes in full, it doesn't unload very fast. So that should leave theoretically more oil for this one, but it's not working out that way. We're just simply using a ton of oil over here. And so what I need to do is I need to upgrade one of my rigs and that's what this is. So we're going to bring this oil rig over here up to level eight. That's going to require 600 red parts. And I've already taken the liberty before starting to record of delivering those 600 into here. Now I just need to kind of get this stuff out of here. I think the glass mix can probably go. Um, like all this stuff just needs a place, you know? So I need to start making like little storages for electronics and electronics too, servers, all this advanced stuff we're finding on the map. I need to get others. I need to get stuff for that. I also need to get, I don't know, like I, I, I want to upgrade my ship again. And I think that's uh, research wise, we need to go to here. No. Sh ship engine three, ship weapons three. This is, I think, the end result, right? Bridge three, I think will make the ship look a little bit better. But to really raise my combat score to where I can actually beat that other stuff, I feel like I'm going to need extra weapons we'll see how the bridge changes the the game for us here but anyway there's 600 red parts here already so we're gonna take and go to this oil rig and deliver that cargo and that's where i also need the unity there too i just gotta have it man this is done and there's our statue of maintenance oh isn't it glorious should we should we try to get a thumbnail here I almost never use the thumbnails from the videos because I can position them differently, but this is kind of cool. I feel like this is our thumbnail right here. Maybe I'll, you know, look at it from a, if I need to look at it from up high, but the camera doesn't let you look up upon something. So in order to get a high view of it, I have to just step away. It has to be like this. I don't know. Maybe I can make that work for thumbnails, you know, give it a shot there. See what we can do with that right there. <laughs> okay. All done dinking around with that now. But anyway, so this is going to... It's going to take down two fuel gas. Oh, we upgraded to gold. Oh, I have to have gold to make it gold. I wonder if there's any benefit to doing it, making it gold. Either way, um, this is, of course, taking constant fuel gas, which is coming from this. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So extra potatoes are now being used to create fuel gas from this, which goes into this large tank, it has many, many months of reserve to keep that thing operational. So keep looking at that. And you know what? If this is ever under 25%, I want to be notified right away. So how's that? how about that? Uh, let's get another excavator. I'll probably put you on the stuff that's going to happen over here. Probably had that excavator come all the way over here. I was going to focus on this a little bit today, but like I even said I was going to. Um, that's just not the way it worked out because I wanted to get other stuff done. And I thought adding water from using filter media instead, it's, I, thought, I thought that might help us solve our problems just a little bit better. So let me take a look really quick and see if like literally any change is going to be able to happen here. I want to make sure that spare water from the other side is traveling that way now. So now we're taking water from the other side, from here, and we're bringing it all the way over into this area to help us with crops. And we're doing this without water saver right now. That's the important thing. I don't want to have to use water saver if I can, if I can help it. I've also expanded how many farms are using the organic fertilizer. And so now we're getting a little bit of a dip there. Uh, noticing we're not getting nearly as much animal feed anymore. 
That's weird. Is it just because of... It's probably because of lack of water. I had some crops fail. Where are you guys trying to go? Oh, you can't reach the sand anymore. Because I put this in the way. Oh. So this isn't a good spot for rock. All right. Tell you what. Let's... Uh, we'll have to move the rock again. So put the rock uh, over here, I guess. And then we'll make a U-shaped conveyor that goes up to level two and hooks like that. And hopefully that allows them to... I don't think that will. I think that's still in the way. All right, whatever. We'll do it here. I just want to be out of the way. Yeah, so what we'll do now is temporarily... I'm going to just... I'm going to do a temporary thing like this so that the rock will go into here instead now. This, this will get eliminated as soon as it's transferred. I just don't want to wait for trucks. So round and round we go. Putting the rock into here. And then once that's emptied out, what we'll do... Nope, tell it to empty it. Once this is emptied, fill this up instead. Here you go, trucks. Take it out of here and put it in there. There you go. Or not. I mean, you're just going to empty it, so... Hey! Hey! Hey, you, you jerk. What do you think you're doing? Huh? Now they're taking the rock somewhere. Way over there somewhere. Either way, this is helping me move it around. And then as soon as you're able to be deleted, we'll go ahead and do that. And then this will just go up and match and meet with this. Like so. And we'll just have that feed it instead. All right, so deconstruct that, deconstruct that, deconstruct this, and deconstruct this. So now you guys should be able to deliver sand to the tank where you go, where, where it belongs. I better see that. There it is. Sand is being dropped back off again. Okay. That was a little unfortunate, but I just wasn't thinking about it, so whatever. All right, so now filter media is going this way. Uh... I'm not seeing any, though. So now this is the part where sand will help supplement it a little bit. Oh, of course. Duh. You're not seeing it because... You know... You're not seeing it because you didn't have sand. So now it's all going to go that way. It'll be fine. Okay. So, trucks are extremely busy now, huh? Good. Good. You have stuff to do. That's great. We'll make a whole bunch more of these. Um... Although, we could. We could see what it's like to make super behemoth ones, which requires me to, I think, upgrade the vehicle depot. Is that it? Vehicle depot's three. Holy moly. That's a vehicle depot right there. And there's ways to feed it now. That's new. There's now ways to actually feed it resources. You had to bring it in on truck before. None of these. There's no. Well, I didn't. I didn't see inputs before. Was there always inputs? Did they change this after I placed it? I don't remember there ever being inputs for this. Oh, I see. Maybe it was this. Okay, so this is probably what it was. There's no inputs on one, and then what I did is I upgraded one to two in place. Right. Is that what I did? Maybe I just didn't pay attention. Either way, there's a lot of inputs there and I just missed it. Whatever. I want to get some mining going on this side. I want to get some iron gathered. I would love to start getting some of this coal over here too. Um, but mostly I just need a nice solid firm ramp that brings us down here so we can access the gold. And that's a lot of running around, man. So kind of like a little a bit nervous on doing that but i'm gonna put a little mining tower oh yeah there's stuff everywhere here like all underneath the surface you have to get through so much rock to get there but i'm thinking i put a mining tower like right here for now you know just get one over here 
and tell you what, we'll have you start a ramp. You have to get through rock anyway, so let's say this area is where you're working. Yeah, let's say this area first. And then what we want to do here is we want to make a ramp from plus 25, yikes, all the way down to here, which is, well, I think like this, yeah. Dig this up so that we go down to five, five, right? Yeah. Plus five, yikes. That's 20 levels down. That's a big boy ramp right there. <laughs> but we get it in a, I, honestly, I don't know if we're even gonna be able to get this coal, but I feel like if we start digging into this mountain, that is significantly lower and we're gonna eventually get down there anyway. Um, I'm also noticing there's really no resources at all right here, even though this cliff side is here. So there's even more rock on this side. Um, but we're absolutely going to start getting that. So this is where I want that to happen next. And what we'll do is we'll take that extra rock and we'll need to do something with it. And I guess what we'll do is we'll make another on the, another place on this side. It's going to be hard to get there. Oh, you're right here. Yeah. I want you to, to dig, to fill this in with your, with the rock. You're going to fill this in and create this ramp and we're going to have a couple more levels to this too, I think. Like that. I want this to be a big ramp too. Kind of like that. Big ramp that comes all the way down. And we'll... Come on. There you go. Almost. Yep. And we're good. Okay. Brings you right down to the surface there. Okay. So this is the ramp that you're going to... You're going to fill in there. I would hope anyway, you would dig it and just dump it here. It's the closest dumping site. And I'm hoping that that's what you ultimately end up doing here. So let's see if we can do that. We're obviously going to need fuel out this way too. Right now, from this point, the nearest fueling station is right here. Bad. So today I said we were going to start working on canola, right? Uh, cooking oil and stuff. So I've got now two full bins of canola. I didn't know what to do with it. So I was just like, well, we need, we're make, we're growing it fast. So let's have more storage. And so I'll do that again. We'll have three full bins of canola uh, for now. And I'll probably, you know, adjust this to where we start eliminating storages. But um, in any case, let's check out the recipe for this. I want to go cooking oil. So real straightforward. We use mills. Um, this is currently 16 canola every 60 seconds is what the mill uses. We're going to be producing, um, on average, looks like 29 over three months. So almost 10 a month, that's 20 a month here. So realistically, since we have a lot backed up or a lot stored, I can probably start with two of the mills to process this. I can probably get two mills going and I'm going to go into planning mode here really quick for this. We'll start with two mills here and here. Let's just jam them together. That is jammed together. They have to have spacing between them. Okay. Um, so with these two rocking canola into cooking oil, there's also going to be some animal feed. We're going to truck that animal feed. I have, a, I have a purpose for it yet. Although I could use that animal feed to create fertilizer, I believe. Uh, compost. Yeah. Three, three compost there. And then we can use that as fertilizer for these fields, which actually isn't a bad. So let's do that instead. Uh, so we'll take the four animal feed that's coming out of here. We'll put that in a separate little bin and let's put that, I guess, right next to it. Cause we're, we're going to be feeding it, you know, fertilizer on that side and that side. So I, I think we'll put this bin here. This will be where the, uh, the animal feed goes. So we'll say that the animal feed comes out about like that and then over and then in. Okay. Animal feed. Good. 
And the cooking oil looks to me like that is fed through pipes. It is. Hmm. This has me wondering if that gargantuan long pipe idea that I had before is a bad idea. I could feed that cooking oil through a pipe. I could take that all the way over here where the fuel is mostly being used. We could. If we produce more of it than we're using on this side, I wonder, instead of trucking it. It's the ethanol that I have to really worry about, though. Because um, we have to grow corn over here. So it's all about the water at this point. And we don't have the necessary resources over here at this point to create steam. At least not unless we're going to burn coal. Which we can by coming way over here. The challenge on this map is that everything is so spread out. It's a big challenge on this map. Uh, well, I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work. It probably won't work. I have to be producing more fuel in order for it to work. Let me take a look at this really quick. What I'd like to try and do, if I can get to the point where these are consistently full, which that doesn't appear to be the case yet, although more fuel gas is coming through here than usual. So if I can just get this full, just a wee bit full, please. If I can do that, then we'll start to see this be used more and that's 18 additional fuel being made i just got to get it pushed through there so what's going on with compost now you're still not feeding that direction but you are being consistently processed the sludge yeah consistently processed into fuel gas and sent this way yep and you're meeting up with this pipe which is taking that fuel gas this direction brings it over the top of this and then it looks like it's deviating from the plan why are you a big pipe it's being split into a little pipe well it's that way because the fuel gas is also being used by these processors that's why that was happening but now i'm going to open it up open the floodgates and let it run. So now we can get it into this one and this one can finally start running. Um, it's already piped in and connected everywhere to provide that fuel where it needs to go. But I think now that I am have that one extra unit, I think I have to upgrade the pipes a little bit here on this side. I have to look at it and see if that's always full or not. Probably not always full because again, this one's only going to use the extra fuel gas. So I don't know if that's ever going to be always full or not. Um, it looks like we're good here. Yep. So let's go ahead and destroy this. You don't need to be assigned here anymore. Goodbye. And then what we'll do is we'll get that extra sludge being processed. So I'm going to say that we put it like... Oh, this is so... I don't... I'm just going to you know, say that I don't like this. I don't like how this currently is, but I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to go like this. And like this. Um, pause you really quick. I want this belt to start here. Yep, and go all the way like so. And no, you have to go higher. Yeah, you got to go up. So it's like you got to go down and then up from here. So this really is belt spaghetti at this point, isn't it? There's a lot of belt spaghetti happening on this one. Sorry. Just kind of the way it worked out. Uh, we could actually have less spaghetti if I went a different route with this. Okay, we'll go minimal spaghetti here. Um, it still exists, but I, I think there's a better way to do this. Well, hang on. No, because we still need it to go here. I can make it work. Yeah, I can make it work. You're going to end up being right alongside this, like right next to it. 
All right. And yes, I'm pausing it because I'm low on fuel. Uh, I don't want to like have it just sitting here draining me while I'm planning it's planning out the solution for it, right? Why aren't you letting me go underneath here? Dang it, pipes. Why you gotta be so difficult with me, huh? Why can't you just go with the flow, huh? Why can't you just get along? We can be friends. I know we can. All right? We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> however many however many other phrases I can come up with here. Uh, let's go like this. I wanna go out one at level two. Or one, no, nope, level two, please. Yep. Then down. Are you happier like this? Are you ready to behave? Please? Thank you. Yeah, this is better. Come on, you can do it. It's right there. Oh, that, yeah, and good. Then we come down and down. And then from here, we just come over and down. Okay, so it's less spaghetti than there was. Still there, but we can now have two of these digesters running because again, we're producing more sludge. So we have to have a solution for that. So now once the compost is created, it usually goes in this bin and gets carted off someplace. So all we really need to do now, oh shoot, you weren't supposed to build yet. And I, I did that too rapidly. I wasn't supposed to build you yet. Damn it. Remove. I even like paused it specifically so that I wouldn't do it. And then just instinctually went, oh no, no, build. <laughs> all right, move, put it there. All right, and then we're just gonna do that. Okay, and then the pipe goes out like this. And then like this to create the, the junctions, right? That's the key is we wanna have these connecting points. Connector points being built already then allows us to go in and do this. And now we can have them really close together. And now you can come down and do the thing you were doing before. And now you can build, okay? You have my permission to exist. Okay. From that, we need the fuel gas to then just rise up from this side. And you're going to make your way over. Uh, trying my best not to get in the way of the trucks, right? looks like it's gonna do something like this yeah something like that it's fine for now plugs into there and away it goes so done didn't need to move the bridge we've expanded the sludge production by 50 percent using filter media and as a result, we've now had to expand our processing of that sludge by 50% to counteract that increase. That is also providing us 50% more production of fuel gas, which is now being directly routed to where fuel gas is needed instead of being trucked away. As a result of that though, does mean there's less fuel gas available for other processes like, like concrete. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that, but there's still opportunities in other places where it's being produced for trucks to pick it up and take it over there. So I'm not super worried about that. What I'd really just like to see is for us to be producing enough fuel gas so that this is constantly full, this is constantly running, providing constant fuel, and now we are finally catching up a little bit here. Yep. And it's important to see this one full because this one is receiving extra fuel from this side. So if that one is empty, and that means that this one's not overproducing either, right? And you can see there's more than enough crude oil here too. So yeah, so this one's been upgraded now. We should be able to bring in enough oil from the map. I, I don't want to hear any complaining about oil anymore, All right? Ships, show it right here. See, you're not empty, All right? I don't want to hear any complaining about it. 
We have enough. All right, there is plenty. And I'm wait. If you're wondering why I'm waiting on nuclear, it's because of this. I'm still wanting to get this cleared. I want this flat. I need a port here to bring in the uranium. The the port's going here. Nuclear is all going right here. This is this is my nuclear spot. But I don't want it to be up on high here. I want it to be level so that I can have uh, the uranium. Now, one thing I could do is set up nuclear up here and just like belt the uranium up. That's totally fine. I'm fine with that. But the fact is I can't actually get a port for the uranium until I have a flat surface here because I'm unable to place a port. I'm only responding to a question here. That's why I'm, I, I like to respond to questions sometimes randomly. If people watch the videos after they ask the question, then sometimes they get them answered. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments and I will attempt to answer them in a future video. Uh, but you see, it's too high. Uh, the, the boats, it, it's unrealistic. See that boat, it's way over there. Like boat can't pull up to a port like this. So you need the port to be at a reasonable height. And that is um, basically indicative. It'll, it'll show you if it's too high, it'll tell you that it has to be placed within a height of five and two. So if your height is above a five, a plus five, it will not allow you to place this. Hopefully that makes sense. Looks like I'm low on coal again. Excuse me. How? Uh? Do I need to... I think I need to get access to that coal mine, I guess. I mean, I am pulling all of it from this one mine. And it's only at 55%. Damn. All right. I guess the next thing to do is to deliver this. Darn it. Um, do Are we repaired and ready to go? It looks that way. All right. We should be able to win this battle. I really wanted to get this instead, though. And then there's this one, which is 470, which could be a ship. It really could, you know, it could be a ship, but I think it might be more important to get the coal mine operational since it looks like I'm getting short. And the problem with getting short on that is that if we're ever short in this, then we're in trouble and we're starting to mine awful far away now. So I think one of the things I'd like to do, I've deleted this wall. I think one of the things I'd like to do now is just to make this trip a little bit shorter for these guys by adding the storage tank for the coal to be here. And then I'll route this belt around like this and stick it in there. Uh, and this needs to be a level two. It doesn't have to be a level two, but I'm gonna make it a level two. And this makes means there's less, uh, less driving. Let's do it on this side because it looks a little better. There's less driving for these guys um, they don't have to drive all the way up here. They can just drop it off right here instead. I like that better. So we'll say that this is coal. We'll say that we want to keep it full. I just want whatever settings are on this one to be here. Uh, okay, cool. And then this one, we can go ahead and turn this off and also delete the mining routes. Replace that with this instead. And same thing here, replace it with this instead. So now the trucks will drop it off here instead. And that's just a little less, little less driving for them. They can get down. This is a main ramp for the mine now. So the remain, the remainder of our mining will take place through this ramp. And, um, most likely I will go ahead and close this off and mine this into a sharp corner. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. We don't necessarily need them to be fed from this side anymore. There are, there is a little bit of depth left to this coal that I will be mining from. So while we're digging here, I guess I could let them do this. But after that, I'm just gonna have them dig this up, make that into a nice corner for the mine. Um, so then they'll just feed it all through there. So yeah, I just need to, you know, need to make sure that we're Getting enough coal, basically. We won that fight pretty handedly. And what are you? Green. A settlement. A green settlement. You're different. And you're being different means you're also interesting. So we'll have to go and explore that next time too. But I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm almost ready to 
start making the silicon and stuff, you'll notice that um, this boat is bringing in the quartz. But the quartz is all full at the moment. I'm not routing it anywhere. We're not producing it for any anything yet. I might actually just produce it all right here and just send the raw silicon up this way rather than having production be over here. There's plenty of room for production to be right here. And um, I still want the coal to go that way. Um, it still needs to do it because it's going to be made for graphite or being used for graphite. But when I do start to mess with the silicon, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Where is it? Graphite, uh, quartz. Here it is. Yeah. So this requires coal for this too. And, uh, to, to end graphite. Yeah. So since we need graphite for that, I guess processing it up here does make more sense. So I will let these build after all the, the point of it was to process it here. So we'll send the quartz from the mine or we'll, yeah, we'll send the quartz from the ship under the bridge around this same as before ducks under here gets processed initially by this recipe with the arc furnace. Uh, actually I might need to move this bridge. doesn't look like I've spaced this correctly. I might need to move the bridge. Um, I can always just go up and over it. Just have it be on this side, go under the bridge from here, then lift up be level three as you make your way across this. Because this arc, the arc furnaces, they're taking graphite from here, right? And then uh, they need coal to be fed to them. It's already coal here, so it'll just come off this side and then over and then down where it needs to go, right? Um, and then the quartz, I think, will be a level three belt above coal, kind of riding right alongside coal and then dumping into the other, uh, the other two repositories, if you will, the other two inputs. Um, so effectively, it will look a little bit like this. It will go, it'll look a lot of it like this. It'll look exactly like this. We'll just have it be from, like, I think way back here, right? And then it will just go like that and down. From here, it will go like that and then down. And then there'll be a level three belt on top of that, right? That goes like this and goes over and down. Well, I wanted it to. Yeah, down. No. Ooh, we're still not far enough away, huh? Well, then I'll, I'll move it to where we are, but effectively I want them to be stacked on top of each other. So we'll have this go out right next to this building instead. That way they're just far enough away. Um, I could also at this point drop it down to level one and do it. And then that would take care of it as well. Why don't we do that? I can do that as well. I could just say that this, uh, from here, let's say we drop you down to level one. Kind of like this. Yeah. And then you'll go all the way over here and then you'll go. Nope. Nope. Almost. I feel like I'm talking to my dog now. Nope. She knows what that means. She means, means that I will get upset if she does that, but I really don't do anything about it. <laughs> so she tests me anyway. Because it's just like, oh, what am I going to do? Take food away from my dog? <laughs> what am I going to do? No, I just yell at her and she doesn't like being yelled at. And I don't pet her as much. Like, approximately maybe 6% less I pet her. So that, that pretty much shuts her up right there, you know. Heaven forbid I take away the petting. No, they can't do, can't do that. You know, this is okay. It's It's not like dipping down at the same time. But the game doesn't let me do this fluidly anyway. So, you know. There you go. And then this supply goes all the way back like this, right? This belt goes back like this. If I can ever get it to do it, we'll see. No, probably not. Something's stopping it. What's going on? Oh, it's not height three. That's why. Uh, and then we go, you know, drop it down from here, let's say, or whatever. And then it crosses and then comes underneath from, th from here. Yeah. And then it just, you know, from this point on, we, uh, we bring it up to height three and it just kind of goes to height two. I mean, 
and it just sort of goes with this. Put the posts in the same spot. You know? Try to anyway. Yeah, there we go. Close. So we just we try our best to put the posts in the same spot. And this, this ends up being our quartz belt. Okay, so you can see how it's routed. It gets it in here, and then all that molten silicon is produced right here. Then we take the molten silicon from this point, and we are going to use... I forget which one it is. Silicon reactor. Um, we use this in conjunction with some hydrogen. We're going to need six hydrogen. I plan to just use some electrolyzers to create it from water since it's really just four electrolyzers is pretty expensive. But if I can get it in here and it's only costing me four water, that's all it will cost is four water every 60 seconds to create enough hydrogen to do this at the expense of 400 kilowatts or 400. Yeah, 400 kilowatts of power, right? I mean, it's not cheap power wise. It's 100 kilowatts. Think about that. Think about 100 kilowatts, okay? Like, how much power is that? You know, I bet the average household probably won't use that much power in two days, two whole days. My house, I can only generate at a time with the solar on my roof, I can only generate at a time uh, 11 and a half kilowatts. Like for an entire day, I don't even, I don't even have, like, I, I rarely do I even get over 85 kilowatts of generation in an entire day. And that's with 35 panels. So like a hundred kilowatts is a lot of power actually. And also the maintenance that goes into this just to get one and a half hydrogen. It's gross. I wish there was a way to get ammonia over here because that would be way more efficient which is how I'm generating all the hydrogen I'm doing now. But in any case, all this stuff will build on its own time. I'm not going to use Unity to do it, but um, I'll let them continue to build this one anyway. Um, whatever the trucks want to do on their own time, I'll let them do it. They're pretty stable now as is. Mega Vehicles is done. The Ship Bridge 3 is about to begin or is about to end as well. We're doing pretty well. I'm digging it. Um, we have some little tiny things here, like you can't store all the potatoes after harvest because we're not processing enough of them, supposedly. <laughs> we're still not. I mean, it looks like we're actually, you know, here, here's one thing I could do. I swear to God, these videos will never end. One thing I could do is just is start using more potatoes on this side. Right? I could just say, hey, game, you want to, you know, how about you guys eat potatoes instead? And then just like that, here we are using more potatoes, consuming more potatoes. And we don't have enough corn apparently because reasons, not sure how. We've got tons of it for the ethanol. That's happening. Actually, corn mash is full. Ooh, ethanol is, whoa, hi ethanol. How did you get full? Okay, we got some stuff to do here, right? Also, check this out. I haven't even started meat trimmings yet. What is happening? Totally forgot about this. We'll make sausage in the next video, I promise. All right, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.